Welcome to the fourth and final section on how to build your own Leslie 145 using mechanical parts bought online. This final section starts with the switch gear. The switch gear is required because I'm not using a Leslie 145 amplifier. A Leslie 145 amplifier normally has a relay that will switch the motors, so I'm having to build one. But very simple to do. First of all, obtain a relay. You will also need some suppressor capacitors across the contacts of the relay. This is a 12 volt relay, so it needs a 12 volt power source, which you just switch from the organ switch. This is a much better arrangement than a Leslie 145, where you have mains present at the switch on the organ. 12 volts is far better, and much safer. This is the power supply, capable of delivering one amp, but the relay only consumes 120 milliamps when it's in switch mode. Here's a schematic for you to have a look at. This seems to be a very simple way of wiring it up and shouldn't give any problems. Two of the block connectors aren't used, as you can see here. In a previous video, I showed how to change the capacitors in the Leslie 145 crossover network, or dividing network as they call it. Unfortunately, I couldn't get hold of the four-way plug for the treble driver, so I had to hardwire this, but I already had a two-pin plug. These are the twin control panels for the rear of the Leslie. The left-hand side one contains Speakon type connectors. These Speakon connectors are the ones that also will accept a jack socket, just in case I lose the Speakon lead. The right-hand side panel has the mains input, a neon light to tell me when the mains is connected, and also a jack socket connector, which will allow me to switch the 12 volts to turn the relay on or off. By using a regular jack connector, although this is somewhat of a special type, it means I can use a jack foot switch. What I would normally do is wire a Leslie Corral tremolo switch to a jack lead and attach the tremolo switch to the organ with some of this new super strength velcro. Here you see a shot of the back of the cabinet just before I fitted the control panels. And here is a shot of the control panels fitted. The amplifier is connected and as you can see from the right hand side the rotor is going round. It really does sound good. At this point I'd like to say a big thank you to my friend Ben Hardcastle at Castle Cases. Thanks for building these Ben, you did a really great job. And I still haven't decided whether to put any baffle cloth in the sides. I think I'll leave them as they are, I like to see the rotors spinning round. Thanks for watching the short series, I hope it's been of some use to you.